Hey guys, welcome back. Previously, I have made this gas leakage sensor using Arduino, and you guys have liked that video so much. And this time, I'm gonna make this project more simpler using IC. So let's get started and subscribe the channel. For making this project, we need some basic components. So let's check one by one. We need a LM393 IC. Next. TIP122 transistor, a red LED for indication, MQ6 gas sensor, a few resistor, and finally a big size breadboard. Now let's start assembling everything on the breadboard. I am placing the IC first. Here I am using VCC ground and digital out pin for this project. Now I am placing MQ3 sensor on breadboard. Then we need a 10K preset. Here this preset is using as reference voltage. Because I have used an LM393 comparator IC to analyze the sensor output. This preset has three pin. Pin one goes to ground. Pin number three goes to VCC and pin number 2 goes to non-inverting input of LM393. Now it's time to connect MQ6 sensor. This sensor detects gases like LPG and outputs an analog signal. We are using 3 pins so VCC goes to positive, ground to ground and DO to inverting pin of LM393 which is pin number 2 of this IC. If no gas is detected then the output voltage will be 4.8 and when the gas is detected MQ6 goes to 0.2 voltage. LM393 is a 8 pin IC whose pin 4 is ground and pin 8 is VCC. As you can see, I have connected it in positive negative rail. Now the problem is, this IC is a common collector IC. So its output always be low. Fix this problem, we need a 1K pull up resistor, whose one pin connected to output of LM393 and another pin to VCC. So I am using this transistor as a switch. In this transistor, pin number 1 is base, pin number 2 is collector, and pin number 3 is emitter. We need another 1K resistor which is connected between base of transistor and pin number 1 output of LM393. Pin number 3 which is emitter connected to ground. I am using this small buzzer for indication purpose. We also need a 330 ohm resistor for LED whose one pin is connected to VCC and another pin to the positive of LED. As you can see the positive pin of LED is connected to resistor and the negative pin is connected to the collector of transistor. So guys if you are watching till now hit the like button and share to your friends. Now I am using this multimeter for set the reference voltage. As you can see the non-inverting pin showing zero voltage. Now let's increase the voltage. So as you can see now the voltage is showing 2.18. So that means non-inverting pin has fixed voltage. Now let's measure the inverting pin voltage and it is showing 4.14 voltage. As of now, in this condition, the non-inverting pin is lower than the inverting pin. As a result, the output will be low and the LED will not blink. So you can see the output voltage is 0.24 across the 1K resistor. That means it cannot drive this transistor properly. Now I'm applying small amount of gas near the sensor and suddenly the voltage increases above 2. In this condition, the output will be high and that's why the LED is blinking. So this is the working principle of open collector of op-amp IC. So yeah, that's how you can make a simple gas detector using just a few components. No microcontroller, no code and it still works great. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video, comment your thought and subscribe to Electronic Noobs for more DIY electronic content. So guys, please support this channel. It really helps me motivated and bring more cool stuffs for you guys so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one and don't forget to comment your thoughts